not only is it the best CPU and GPU combo in 2022, but it's also your next CPU and GPU combo in 2022. Because I completely made up that whole story, man. Uh, this is your next gaming PC, and I'm just gonna send it up to you, my man. What? Okay, so before getting into all that giveaway stuff, today we have an extremely important topic to talk about today. If you're in the market for building a brand new gaming PC right now, your CPU and GPU combo choice is an incredibly difficult and important decision. And honestly, it's even more magnifying during this GPU shortage. So today I'm gonna help you out with that. Let's get into it. Choosing your CPU and GPU combo is not just obviously important because they are the two main components that make up the majority of the performance and FPS numbers that you'll get, but it's also extremely important in terms of trying to future-proof your system as well as enabling or disabling you the options for some extra features. I don't think we really need to talk about the performance because that's pretty obvious, so let's quickly talk about future-proofing and the features that a CPU and GPU combo can add or subtract to your system. Right now, we are actually in a perfect time period to be talking about this with DDR5 RAM because it's definitely out and about out now, but it's not completely mainstream yet and it's really expensive and there's really only one platform that allows you to use it right now. That's Intel's Alder Lake 12th generation CPUs of course, and what's really cool is that they're making motherboards for these CPUs that support both DDR4 and DDR5 RAM, one or the other, not both I should say, and this is exactly one of the decisions that you'll have to make before starting your build. Corsair kindly hooked us up today with this blazing fast 5600 megahertz kit of 32 gigabytes of DDR5, but we'll talk about that and the rest of our build today after wrapping up the CPU and GPU combo talk. We know that AMD is going to release later this year a brand new system that does allow for DDR5, but if you're building a brand new system today with only DDR4 and Ryzen, that's definitely why you need to put a lot of time into choosing your CPU and GPU combo. Buying a Ryzen system today isn't a terrible idea because you can get some pretty solid price to performance, especially on the Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 models, but you'll have to realize that we are probably less than a year away from DDR5 becoming mainstream, and if you build a DDR4 system right now, you might regret that later on down the line. And of course, there's also some other effects of your CPU and GPU combo choice, such as PCIe Gen 4. If you're putting together a mid-range system with Intel 10th Gen, for example, you won't be able to benefit from using PCIe Gen 4, and with graphics cards like the 6500 XT being bottlenecked by Gen 3 slots, this is also extremely important. Even though it might cost a few bucks more, going up to at least 11th Gen Intel, which is PCIe Gen 4 compatible, may be the better option for giving your build a little bit more life in the future. This also applies over on the AMD side because you can make a really good case for using something like the 5600G versus the 5600X. It costs way less and performs all almost about the same, but the 5600G doesn't support PCIe Gen 4 where the 5600X does, so that's definitely something that you need to consider for both Intel and AMD systems. Over on the graphics card side of things, there's a whole slew of arguments to be made for both the AMD and Nvidia platforms. In my opinion, currently there's some much better price to performance in the mid-range 6600, 6600 XT range, at least right now, but over on the Nvidia side, you get true RTX support, which is much better, and more importantly than all of that, which is DLSS. Nvidia also rocks their new creator feature features such as RTX voice, webcam background removal, and so much more. In my opinion, if you're building a long-term system that you want to last for years and years, and especially if you're in the line of work like streaming or editing that can rely on a GPU encoder, focusing more on the features from Nvidia instead of the price to performance of AMD is more important. There's definitely a ton of other features that you can add or subtract depending on which CPU or GPU combo that you're gonna go with. I'm just trying to outline some of the important ones. No matter what though, it's just extremely important that you take this into consideration whenever you're building your system and don't just get whatever has the best price to performance. Now, before talking about my personal favorite combo here in 2022 for brand new systems, I wanna quickly talk about this system that we're using for testing today, and I'm actually giving it away to somebody at the end of the video, but we'll talk about that later. As you can probably already tell, this is a behemoth of a Corsair sponsored build, and huge thank you to them for hooking us up with that. This is featuring a ton of brand new Corsair components, but this is by no means a requirement for the CPU and GPU combo that we're about to talk about. Instead, this is simply just an obnoxiously overkill gaming PC that we can show off some of these parts for, but it also allows us to benchmark the full potential of our combo, which won't be bottlenecked by RAM amount, RAM speed, the motherboard, or anything like that. I promise that I'll be quick at this parts list, so let's knock this out real quickly. For the motherboard, this is the MSI Pro Z690-A DDR5 version, which definitely might reveal our CPU choice a bit, but this is definitely one of the best value price to performance Z690 motherboards on the market right now. For RAM, this is Corsair's Dominator Platinum RGB, and it's a 2x16 gigabyte kit clocked at a ridiculous 5600 megahertz. Like I said, hopping on the DDR5 platform earlier than everyone else is definitely expensive, but these RAM speeds are just obnoxious, and Corsair is always coming in clutch with the super 
clean design of these Domplat RGBs and you just can't go wrong with them. For storage, we have the Corsair MP600 Pro XT, which is also equally obnoxious. This is a two terabyte NVMe drive with read and write speeds of up to 7,100 over 6,800 megabytes per second. But remember that's gen four storage, which your motherboard will need to support as well as your CPU, of course. Next up, we have our AIO that's cooling our CPU of choice today, which I promise we'll talk about soon. And this is the Corsair H100i Elite LCD Black. And you guys already know I absolutely love this AIO. You can completely customize this super high quality IPS display to show performance numbers, cool preset designs, or even whatever picture or gift that you wanna match the overall aesthetics of your build. Finally, Corsair also came in clutch with a bunch of other products to include their CX750F RGB power supply, which has a nice underglow at the bottom, a bunch of these ML120 Pro RGB fans, which can be completely customized to your liking through the IQ software. And finally, they also sent over this behemoth of a case, which is the 5000X RGB. When I was live streaming this build over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash by the way, I couldn't even fit this entire case into the camera frame and it's just an absolute monster. I do definitely love all of the customization that it provides, like how I was able to shrink the size of the PSU shroud so we can show off our side intake RGB fans. And there's just so much room to work with here that you can really add whatever you want. The back panel in the back that covers your cable mess is also super clutch for someone like me. And the case comes with a built-in Corsair RGB and PWM hubs for the extra fans that you'll probably throw in there. And then once again, this is definitely not a requirement for our CPU and GPU combo of choice today. It's just a baller gaming PC that we're gonna use for testing. And what we're testing with today is indeed my CPU and GPU combo choice, and that is the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti, as well as the Intel i5-12400F. There's so many reasons why I like this combo so much, but let's start off with how it's good for both PC flippers and normal gamers that just want really nice systems. For PC flippers, both of these models are priced pretty competitively compared to the rest of the product stacks. The 3060 Ti is at least better than a 3050 and 3060, obviously, but you won't have to spend the obnoxious amounts of money on a system with a 3070 that you'll typically have to do. Same thing with the CPU, to be honest, the 12400F allows you to pair it with pretty much any GPU, and that can range for more budget systems like a nice RTX 3050 or RX 6500 XT build, and that can scale almost all the way up to depending on how much you want to spend. The other thing that I really like about this combo is that it's arguably the easiest brand new combo to buy on places like the Newegg Shuffle. Budget gamers are still really targeting those cheaper GPUs like the RTX 3050 and the 6500 XT and whatnot, and then of course there's those higher end builders that are trying to get the 3070s, 3080s. 3080 Ti's and whatnot. So the 3060 Ti is kind of just sitting there in the middle and not as many people are buying it. The entire 12th gen stack isn't too hard to buy right now at all either. But one thing that I quickly mentioned earlier that's awesome is that you can pair this 12400F with a more budget oriented DDR4 system or a much more powerful DDR5 system if you wanna spend the money. This CPU and GPU combo allows you to scale all the way up to monster systems like this where you pour a ton of money into future proofing and the aesthetics. But the combo also scales all the way down to budget $1,000 to $1,200 PCs. This is a super versatile combo, especially in terms of price. And jumping into a quick performance section because there's no point of talking about any of this without seeing the numbers, here's our chart showing 10 different titles in 1080p with mostly ultra and high settings. This system is obviously easily able to crank out some good FPS in all of these titles, so I also had Sam benchmark this combo in 1440p and here are the results for those. We definitely can't get as high of settings that we had in 1080p, but if you're interested in future proofing your setup a little bit with a 1440p monitor, this CPU and GPU combo can definitely handle that as well. But now that we know all of this, I wanna know what your favorite CPU and GPU combo is for new builds down in the comment section. But even more importantly than that is that there's somebody in the ZTT community that could really use this combo a lot more than I can. Hopefully you guys know how much I value my community, especially my Discord and my Twitch community where it's a little bit more close knit and I'm actively involved in every single day. But the reason that we were able to build up such successful communities is definitely finding the right mods that share the vision. But and more important than that is that all of my mods have to maintain a certain ZTT standard in terms of their own gaming pieces. That's definitely mostly the case for our Twitch and Discord mods. Here's some examples of the gaming PCs that they've personally built over the last couple of years, but one Twitch and now Discord mod in particular is severely lagging behind everybody else. Here's a picture of his system, and you definitely can't tell from this picture, but this PC is running a not so terrible RX 5700 XT, but it's also being extremely bottlenecked by a third gen Intel i7 3770K, which of course can only run DDR3 memory as well. There's also the much more important issue in here of using ketchup and mustard cables with no cable extensions. He's using the Meta CPU cooler from over a decade ago. And guys, I know this system may be good for some people depending on your situation, but for someone that's part of the ZTT team, this is just completely unacceptable.
Yo. Yo. Can you hear me? How you doing, man? I'm <laughs> doing great. Do you see the, the PC next to me? That's the one that we just built during the live stream yeah. on, on Monday. The reason why I built that was, because you know it was like super overkill and whatnot, is because I'm making a video about the CPU and GPU combo, the 12400F and the 3060Ti. Like the title of the video is gonna be the best CPU and GPU combo in 2022. But um, so not only is it the best CPU and GPU combo in 2022, but it's also your next CPU and GPU combo in 2022. Because I completely made up that whole story, man. Uh, this is your next gaming PC, and I'm just gonna send it up to you, my man. What? Yeah, man. <laughs> Are you for real? I'm dead serious. I completely made up all of that about the Discord and the Twitch mods and everything. I just wanted oh to get... My God. Dude, I'm almost crying right Dude. now. Yeah, man. I just wanted to get you on camera real quickly uh, to, to tell you that. So I'm super appreciative of, every, of everything you've done for ZTT so far. You know, we got a standard, man. You're 3770K. It's just not, it's just not up to snuff here for being part of the ZTT squad. So I had to hook you up. Crying for real. Yeah, man. I got I got you. I'm super happy for you. Thank you so much for me, man. Thank yeah. you so much. I've actually never run a surprise giveaway like that before, so that was a super fun experience, and I'm so happy for Mark. But I do want to quickly explain that Mark has been my certified PC build checker for like over a year now. Before every single Thirsty Thursday live stream where I build these PCs that you see on the YouTube channel, I send Mark the components list of the build that I'm about to build, and he not only tells me if there's any hard compatibility issues and all that, but more importantly is that he also tells me how the community is going to respond to the build and what questions they're going to ask. He's actually way better at doing that than I am. He, every single week, he's constantly telling me things like, hey, people are going to question, why are you using a Z690 motherboard with just a 12400F? And with how busy my life is and how quickly we run this CTT operation, I forget a lot of those types of questions that people are going to ask. So his service has definitely been super invaluable to me. Mark is also a dad of three, and from my point of view, he's like a rock star dad up there in Canada, and I'm so happy to provide him with a gaming PC that he'll be able to play any title he wants to whenever he does get a tiny amount of peace and quiet while the kids are sleeping. All of my Twitch and Discord mods deserve much more than what I can currently provide them. I did just send them all some fancy care packages though with my absolute favorite Corsair HS80s, the goaded WoW stick screwdriver, and of course some ZDT merch, but those guys hopefully know how much I appreciate them, and our communities would not be what it is without them. They now all at least have a very solid gaming PC, so we can scratch that off the list. But if you guys are still somehow watching to the end of this video, just know that I super appreciate you as well. Make sure to leave a comment down below with the Christmas present emoji so I know who the true ballers are. And finally, one more thing that I've always appreciated as well is my relationship with V1 Tech. V1 Tech is your one-stop shop for all kinds of amazing artwork for inside your builds that can really take the aesthetics to a new level. They have all sorts of products from GPU backplates, support brackets, fan grills, case panels, and they even have some wall art now so you can match the aesthetics of your your PC to your home decoration. And that's exactly what Mark and one of you lucky viewers are gonna do. The reason why I left Mark's system all black with just RGBs for the aesthetic is because V1 Tech is hooking him up with a $200 gift card so we can customize this exactly how he wants. They're also sending him a piece of wall art and they even wanna send one of you guys a $100 gift card as well. Sending that Christmas emoji down the comment section will get you entered and that's all you have to do. Big thanks again to V1 Tech for the massive hookup on all of this and links to their store is of course down in the description. And and if you're still hunting for a good GPU to go with your favorite CPU of choice, maybe the 12400F, then feel free to click my GPU buyer's guide video that's on the screen right now. But just like always, I hope you enjoyed this video.